So I'm back again. And I've come to the conclusion that I don't have a personality. Um, or at least I don't seem to have one. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what, what made me think this is... Uh, like, I had a job interview uh, uh, er earlier this week. Uh, it was one of the two job interviews with companies I already had job interviews with before, and both times I didn't get the job with either company. So, but uh, what was was this a uh, job interview? It, it was a group interview. <coughs> and uh, uh, it was me and uh, two other women. And, and uh, the interviewer was just trying to find out a little bit more about uh, uh, us. The, the three of us, and uh, she, she asked, like, uh, what do you like to do? Uh, and, like, and she asked the one, one of the women, and the, and the one woman said, geocaching, uh, uh, which is where people take something and then they go out in the wilderness, wilderness, and hide it. And then they uh, 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 write down the the coordinates, and uh, I think put it on the website. And then other people try to find what they they've hidden with uh, GPS units uh, uh, like uh, like my parents were actually friends with someone who's talked about it and he's taking his whole family geocaching and that uh, they all have some uh, uh, like, uh, good, good stories about their adventures, I guess. So it, though it sounds pretty cool to do a, a fun activity. Uh, but, but anyway, she, she just says geocaching and describes it a little bit. And then the other lady just, just, uh, uh, starts having a conversation with her right away uh, about geocaching. And they, they go on and on about it for, uh, a uh, pre pretty long time. And, uh, both of them sound really excited about it. Uh, the, the other woman had, hadn't done it be before, but she still seemed really into it. And meanwhile, I'm just in the middle between them, just listening. And, and the, the interviewer doesn't seem to know what to do. And, and then, then they, they finally stop talking and get back to the interview. Uh, and the, the next question was, as, uh, was like, how, how would people de describe you? Uh, the, the interview was asking everyone and, 
and most of the women uh, I can't remember exactly what they said, but they said something and then they kind of built on it and and uh, had some descriptions uh, uh, f for their answers and then my answer was uh, friendly and that's about it. That was my answer. Because I, I couldn't think of anything else to say. Like, uh, I know people would describe me as shy and quiet, but I don't think those would be good things to say in a, in a job interview. So I, I didn't say them. Um, but now, if I could go back and change my answer, I would have said something like dependable or hardworking. Uh, a t team player, something, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, 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 I, could, I, I don't know what, how to describe what other people would say about me, how people would describe me, because I'm like an observer, hang back and wait for my time to speak and join in, not, not, not like the the two women who just had this uh, exciting conversation about geoca geocaching <laughs> just out of the blue. And I'm sure there's other ways people would describe me, uh, other good ways, but I don't think uh, the words people would use to describe me would be very different. Uh, like was a person, someone could say they're loving and then another person could say they're intimate and, may and maybe someone could say that person is, is faithful. Just stuff like that. S similarities. And, and <clears throat> with me, I think if you ask a bunch of people, you, you might get the, almost the same answer. Like, like he's, uh, like I'm nice and kind and and thoughtful and friendly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure those words would come up a lot in descriptions about me and that you know that's not to say i'm not those things i am yeah yeah i would agree with those things but it, i not sure how much variety there would be uh in descriptions about me that has a lot to do with my autism i'm sure of it i I hang back and wait because I'm unsure of what to do or say, so, so I'll listen to other people and watch other people and then kind of copy them and, or, or actually I, I do that watching TV shows and movies. I'll remember something I heard in the in the TV show or movie, or, uh, or 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 internet video, what whatever, and then I'm just and and I'll use it in real life. And if I'm copying so much from other people and from movies and TV and books then 
uh, what is left that's me. Yeah, what do I have that's not copied from somewhere else? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Uh, but what, what about my personality is not copied from somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, th that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. Because, uh, yeah, I mentioned this on my video. If you l listen to all my uh, videos I've done, uh, my, my voice uh, that doesn't seem to change much. It's the same tone almost always, and uh, I'm not not expressing myself so much. And I think that's because I don't know what my personality is or if I have one. I, I don't know. What is a personality, anyway? Are you born with it, or do you develop it? I just thought of those questions. So, yeah. I'll go and find out the answers to those questions. And until next video, right, goodbye. <laughs>